Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of the three do's and three don'ts. My partner today is Julie Vatcher. I uh, challenged her and uh, first and foremost, you're gonna have to go see how incredibly talented Julie is. Uh, she does these beautiful pieces with negative space and a lot of them are horizons or flowers and she's incredibly talented. Her link is below in the de description box. Um, but she, uh, I challenged her three do's and don'ts and you'll have to watch her video to see what I challenged her. And she challenged me. Um, the one downfall on my end is I had not realized, she asked, um, she said one of my do's was to use a tall thing canvas. Um, and <laughs> approximately eight inches by, you know, uh, let me see here if I could do the math. 18 inches. So I didn't have that on hand and I did use my last 10 by 20 the other day. So I'm left with a uh, 12 by 24 and I'm so sorry, Julie. Um, and it just shows I did not read fully. I just saw tall thin. <laughs> um, but in, in, in addition to a tall thin canvas, I had to use at least four blues, which I do have. Um, a white and a sand color. Uh, my don'ts were um, no gold. I could not use gold. I could not use a uh, blow dryer to blow out my paint and I could not, um, what was the other one? Good Lord, I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Um, goodness. All right, so my colors today are, I have Metallic Sapphire by Art Minds, and the paint runs, oops, right off the stick um, and leaves a trace. I also have Payne's Gray by Golden. It's just a gorgeous color. Every um, bit of my paint is mixed with Golden's Fluid Pouring Medium. This is a mix of cobalt blue, metallic sapphire, and PBO's blue black iridescent paint. I have Golden's Phalo Turquoise. I wonder if that color is coming up. There you go. I'm not sure what this is. It's a mixture of a bunch of blues that I had laying around. And then I added a uh, metallic midnight by uh, Ceram Coat. I'll show you the bottle. So this is what it is right here. And then the other color I have is bright aqua green. And I mixed that with Color Shift Aqua Flash. And then I have my two whites. And then for my sand color, because she said I could not use the gold, um, I had some Champagne Brushed Metallic by Art Minds. So this is my sand color and I mixed in a little bit of copper. And the color is beautiful and it's a metallic. I love metallic, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so tall thin canvas, not the size Julie had wanted. Um, I read the size later, so I really messed that up and I'm sorry, Julie. I promise to repeat the process at a later date on a smaller canvas. <laughs> I think the closest I could come to that size would be a, a 10 by 20. Um, so, uh, she wanted it tall. It's tall. She didn't say what orientation I was to pour in. Um, I'm tempted to do it in the tall style, but, um, we'll see. I, I tend to do everything horizontal. Maybe that was the challenge. She also said, oh, I don't, um, yeah, so I can't layer any cups and, uh, so I guess it's sort of gonna be like a dirty pour. Um, 
when it comes to areas. And then I'm gonna swipe a little with um, with my swipey tools. So I'll put that in there. I'm actually gonna turn, stir that up a little bit. I thought I saw a lump. We don't want any of that. All right. So I'm gonna work my way up and so this is going to be the sand. I figured I'd do a flip cup. white in first. And this time I'm going to come across this way. in there. I wonder if it was the copper that did it. So I did add the copper at the end. Definitely the copper. Note to self. Mix differently this next time. Dirty pour a couple of a little bit of blue in here. of metallic sapphire and blue black by PBO. Lots of bubbles because I did just mix this up. I'm gonna save this one for after. Come 
some more white mixed up right here with a little bit of iridescent pearl white by golden so I want to thin it out a little bit it is a little thick I love the lacing I'm getting here so we'll see if I get any more here. <laughs> so I just dampened my paper towel this time. Thinking maybe that'll help. And we'll start from this side now. It's just not going to do what I want it to do today. She said I couldn't use a blow dryer. So I have my tube.
gonna stretch this out. Um, definitely not doing <laughs> what I wanted to do. And you're never gonna see this video, I don't think. Maybe you are. I don't know, this is beautiful in here. I reserve the right to change my mind at any moment. <laughs> so I think what happened was my white, or my, my white was a little thin, but I wanted it thin because I wanted to create some lacing effects, um, which it did do. gonna leave it alone because I really actually love the way it's finally come out yes and uh, we'll bring you guys in in a minute so this did not pan out like I had envisioned but how often does fluid art actually go the way you want it to. And I don't mind this piece. I'm not, for me, I'm not really crazy about all this. I'd rather have that as white lacing, but um, my white was not cooperating. It was sinking and um, that really messed it up. But I like this challenge. Uh, you really got me this time, Julie. I know I've done a beach scene before, but with gold. So it was just so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I really think that's really gotten me on this one. Um, but this is going to dry beautifully and we'll see the, uh, dried results in just a moment. All right, guys. So here is the dried result. I love it. It's so beautiful. And the colors are amazing. Um, Definitely not an easy task when not being able to use gold because I'm so used to that. But I do love the uh, champagne colored sand and this lacing in here. And it really came out lovely. So, all right. So next up is uh, Julie Vatcher of Julie Vatcher Art. Following Julie is Mina Villegas. And then after... Mina, it's Manon Petit. So I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday premiere train and send some love to the artists coming up. And for those of you who are watching, be sure to check out my live auction tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my first auction and I'm really excited about it. Thanks guys, bye.